Hello and welcome to today's short strategy video. My name is Rihanna Ridman. I'm an infant and early childhood mental health consultant at Children's Resource Center in Bowling Green, Ohio. Today's short strategy video is how to read children's cues. So reading cues is an evidence-based strategy from DECA and really what the object is, is to observe how children respond to new activities and experiences throughout the day. So just really paying attention to the obvious and then sometimes more subtle cues um, that children are providing for us. So that can be something like, you know, having furrowed brows, their eyebrows kind of scrunch up together or maybe turning away or just distancing themselves to show that they're kind of disengaged with whatever the activity is. So something that's important is to just look for those specific cues that show that children are still interested in the activity or they're maybe enjoying it or having fun or maybe those cues that say they're not really feeling it anymore. So looking for smiles, close proximity, bright eyes, and eye contact to indicate that children are still feeling comfortable with the activity, that they're interested in the activity. It's something that they're still engaged in and they wanna to continue to do. Um, and then using these cues when planning intentional activities. So whether that's in the classroom or at home, you wanna make sure that children are still really engaged in whatever they're playing with or whatever they're learning um, because children really, are able to learn and problem solve when they are in a you know calm state of emotions. So these two pictures, they both show a child that's reaching out for a caregiver. So this first one, this child is smiling and looks, you know, he's got bright eyes. So it looks like he's interested in playing and maybe wants the caregiver to join him. And this second picture shows a child who's, you know, it looks like maybe he's crying or whining and he's reaching out to a caregiver maybe to help comfort him or to say, you know, stop, I don't want to do this anymore. So reading cues has to do with communication skills. So whether that's verbal communication skills or nonverbal uh, cues. So paying attention to the sounds that children are giving us. So whether they're whining or crying or, you know, maybe they're having a temper tantrum and screaming or yelling. Obviously, those are some sounds that indicate to us that, you know, they're not having a good time. This is an activity that they are not interested in, they're not engaged in that activity, or they just don't want to do it. Um, maybe using language. So maybe the child is old enough to have those um, verbal communication skills and they can just tell us what they're feeling. They can say, I don't like this, I'm feeling mad, I don't want to play this anymore. They can just, you know, tell us what their words or sometimes children use facial expressions to kind of give us um, those cues. So whether they have a questioning or curious face, maybe they're feeling really happy, so they're smiling or you know just excited. Um, they show us with their nonverbal cues. You know maybe they're frustrated or bored. So these two pictures kind of show that nonverbal communication. This child maybe looks like she's bored. She's kind of putting her face together and her eyes kind of look like they're, you know, going in a different direction. This child's crossing her arms. So these are all those, those cues that we can read from children to say whether, you know, they're interested in continuing the activity or maybe we should redirect. Another one would be gaze. So where is your child looking? You know, are they focused on you with eye contact or are they looking at a specific object with, you know, specific eye contact or are they looking away um, and then are they gesturing with their body so using those nonverbal cues maybe pointing or um, turning their body to a specific direction that is towards whatever it is that is catching their interest so this child looks very engaged with this book you know she's got eye contact on the pages she's smiling so this you know indicates that she's enjoying reading this story this child is pointing and has a gaze looking towards something. Maybe she's looking at something on the wall in her classroom that she is, you know, interested in, wants to um, either play with that or, you know, learn more about it. So understanding your child's behavior can start with reading cues. So the first step to understanding behavior can be just observing and kind of interpreting what that behavior means. Um, it's important to understand that all behavior is communication. Children are trying to tell us something with however they behave. So 
The second step would be to respond to your child based on what you think the meaning is of their behavior. Step three, um, if you try and maybe that didn't work, so then you try again. So if the first time you're responding based on thinking your child is feeling angry, maybe that didn't work, so we're gonna try again. Maybe, maybe you think your child is feeling sad, so we're gonna respond a little bit differently. Um, and then the fourth step is, again, remember that tantrums are communication too. So a tantrum usually means that children are having a hard time calming themselves down. So we are able to help them calm down through co-regulation, um, giving them some calm down choices, maybe taking a few deep breaths. But that communication from that tantrum is, you know, showing us that they need something. So again, all behavior is communication. And so part of reading cues is to help us understand that behavior or understand what children are communicating to us. And reading cues is an opportunity for connection. So children experience and express their thoughts and feelings, but sometimes it can be confusing when their behavior is maybe frustrating to the adults that care for them. So being able to stay calm ourselves as adults being calm, we can make a good guess at what children's behavior might mean. And then we can respond to them in a way that helps children feel safe and connected. So children wanna feel seen, they wanna feel heard. So if we can take a guess at maybe what they're feeling and kind of validate those feelings for them, it's gonna help them feel safe and connected. If you are looking for some more resources on reading cues, you can email me at rihannar at crcwoodcounty.org. Reading cues is an evidence-based strategy from DECA, so that comes from the Devereux Center for Resilient Children. If, um, if you're looking for more strategies about reading cues, the Center on Social and Emotional Foundations for Early Learning is where I found some examples for this slideshow. And then lastly, please like us on Facebook at CRC Infant and Early Childhood Connection. Thank you.